Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice. We aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be decluttering and packing my wardrobe because at the time of filming this video I am currently in the process of moving I'm going to insert a little snapshot here of what my life currently looks like right now and I'm kind of scrambling for time to film content for my channel right now but I thought I may as well film the whole process of me decluttering my wardrobe I don't think I have a lot of clothes I probably have more shoes than I really need but I don't think I have a whole heap of clothes but I know that I have more than I need so in this process I'm going to try and be really really super brutal with my decluttering of my clothes because I don't want to take all my crap with me and pack it all and take it to the new house especially if I know I have not worn it in the last few months so if you guys want to join me in this whole decluttering process then just keep on watching but before I go any further if you guys haven't already then please subscribe it would help me out so so very much I put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter I am most active on Instagram and all of those are life as geek guy thank you guys for being here thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up I'm gonna get started into my decluttering and packing my wardrobe process I'm packing to move so most of this stuff is going into boxes or bags I'm not gonna be talking a whole lot through this process I'm probably just gonna be pulling everything out sorting through things and I'm hoping with this video to maybe motivate you to maybe declutter your wardrobe go through all the stuff in your life that you don't use and you just want to sort of de-stress by decluttering your life then maybe this video might help you or motivate you to do the same so let's get started so I'm sorry if my ring light is reflecting my glasses but I'm just going through my stuff right now and I just wasn't gonna put my contacts in because I'm not doing a makeup application right now but this part of the wardrobe is all my winter jackets and coats How many leather jackets does one girl need? <laughs> brand new coat from forever new I think I bought this brand new for about $120 and I've never worn it because it's too small for me I should have gone up a size I'm gonna see if I can try and sell this on Facebook because it's still brand new and it's such a beautiful coat here's my little Santa baby outfit from back in the days when I used to dance <laughs> I don't know what to do with this I kind of want to keep it but I don't know if I'll actually even wear this anymore. I'm gonna keep it. It's just really cute. <laughs> so I didn't get rid of a lot of coats. I actually wear all of these ones that I've kept. These are probably the only ones that I haven't worn and don't think I will. So these ones can go in the either giveaway or donate box. So I'm putting some things up for sale as I go along just so that while I have it out I can take photos, put them up as I go along and then hopefully people buy them because I feel like this coat is such a waste if I don't actually get to sell it because it is such a beautiful quality coat. I'm so mad that I never actually got to wear it. <laughs> I got this acrylic container for free from a shop that was closing down next door to my old workplace and I thought it would be something nice to display makeup in but I don't know, I've just never actually used it It's on a nice spinning table, like it's one of those display sort of things but I just, I don't know if it'll be good to display makeup in I'm the sort of person that holds on to certain things because I think, oh it'd look nice as such and such but I don't really have a clear vision or idea in my mind of how I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna get rid of it. Blankets, a black one and a white one and I do believe I'd still be able to use these so these ones I'm gonna keep. In this bag I have my elf shoes and the Christmas hat that I used for my tired overworked elf video. 
I don't think I'm going to be using these again, so these can go in the donate box. I'll probably give this jacket to my little sister. Alright, in this box here, I have a whole heap of perfumes. I've collected perfumes over the years and I just have so, so many. I don't know honestly why I have so many. But these ones are like my favorite scents. I have Bath and Body, I have White Cherry Blossom, I have my Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Scent Spray, Rare Gold from Avon, and just a whole lot of other Bath and Body perfumes. I've had them for years and I I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I wanna sell them, but no one's buying them. I'm gonna put these perfumes aside. I'm gonna try and sell more things. I don't know how I'm gonna go. I might end up selling them as a bulk lot or just giving them away to family and friends. Oh my goodness, the same goes for this huge bag of Bath and Body Works sprays. Like I have Secret Wonderland, Black Amethyst, Sensual Amber, and there's just so many in this bag. I bought them, never used them, never even gave them away. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might try and put them up for sale again on Facebook. Fingers crossed people buy them. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know why I have them. I need to declutter my life. What am I doing with my life? All right, down here I have my little white petticoat from when I used to dance. It's a very stiff petticoat. I don't even know if I'm gonna be using this anymore. I haven't used it in months and months. So that can go in the donate pile. And I'm almost scared to find out what's in this box here. I don't even know what's in it. So I have a whole bunch of papers. I've got an old picture frame and I've got some old magazines in here. So I'm gonna go through this, chuck some things out most likely. I'm gonna do it right now, otherwise I won't do it later. I have so much stuff guys that I don't know why I even bought it or what I'm doing with it. This one is a little Thing of Japanese cherry blossom. I love the scent, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I have so many perfumes that I don't use. I think I might keep the fragrances and just get rid of these containers here. The containers themselves have like a little body lotion. I probably won't use the body lotions because I have really sensitive skin and these ones, I don't know, I won't really end up using them. So these can go in that stuff that I'm going to try to sell bulk. Um, and these containers can go in the bin. <laughs> This one's a little keepsake. This is a little lullaby heart that I've had for years. It's over 20 years old. And I remember we used to play this for our little brothers and sister when they were babies. And I have it. I don't know why my other sisters didn't get their hands on it and I'm the one who has it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. So I was going through a lot of my stuff and I realized a lot of the things that I hold on to have sentimental value to them and I just can't get myself to throw them away. How do you do that? How do you get rid of things that have sentimental value? I have my little uh, fascinator that can go in the donate box. Here I have a whole heap of fabrics that I don't think I'm going to use anymore. Not unless I want to use them for backdrops, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sell all of these fabric pieces. Okay, only took me about an hour, but this whole entire side is empty. I'm gonna go through that top top shelf very last because I can't reach it. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go through the next side. Uh, at the moment, all the clothes that I'm still gonna be wearing, I'll just leave on this shelf right here. They can live there for now. <laughs> 
On this side here, I have my shorts, my pants, my jeans, my work t-shirts. I'm gonna pull all of these out and sort through the things that I won't wear or I won't need um, and pack the rest and put aside the things that I know I'm gonna need for the next week or so. in the process, I'm gonna have to tape it up. So I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed at this point. I'm surrounded by mess. I don't really know where I'm at or where I'm up to or basically what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go through this side. This is the last area of things that need to be packed and then I've just got little bits and pieces that I need to sort out and put in bags and boxes and pack them up. And hopefully I haven't left myself short on any clothing. I actually still need to go through my my underwear, my underwear and my hosiery drawer, these two here, but I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna share them with you guys because that's just boring. At this point, there's not really any point of me explaining to you what I'm doing because I don't even know myself. So I'm just gonna let the video record and I'm just gonna do my thing and hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. Hopefully. I'm so sorry. This content is like really bad YouTube content. But this is where I'm at in my life right now. And when I move and get settled and have my whole filming space set up, I'm really wanting to create really good content for you guys. So fingers crossed we get to that place again <laughs> of just nice, calm, routine, clean space area, everything. So yeah. You know what, I've just decided I'm gonna go through all my gym gear again because I have way too much. I really don't work out that much. I'm gonna go through all of it again and I'm going to declutter stuff. I'm gonna be brutal with the things that I still like and feel like I'm gonna wear but I don't actually wear. So wish me luck, let's do this. Well, this is how much I got rid of. Better than nothing. More stuff to donate. Need another box.
guys, so I am far from being finished at the moment as you can see my place is still a mess But I think I'm gonna end the video right here because at this point I have already actually taken all the clothes out of my wardrobe So I'm pretty pleased with my progress tonight. The place is still a mess But I've actually managed to take all my clothes out of the wardrobe I've managed to pack all my clothes into these four bags and all I have left to pack as far as clothes go are the clothes that I have left out to wear for work and the dirty clothes that I have in my washing basket right this moment. I've fit them all in four bags which is pretty good I think maybe it's a lot of clothes but out of all of those boxes of shoes I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine pairs of shoes that I'm donating here and then um, out of my wardrobe, I got that box of fabrics out to try and sell. This whole bag of clothes are all from my wardrobe to donate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been quite a process tonight. As you can see, my house is still a very big mess and I think it's going to be a mess up until the point that I managed to move everything out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a nothing video, really. This is real life. I'm in the process of moving and I thought I may as well film the process for you. I apologize again for this content at the moment. <laughs> But anyway guys, if you're still here at this point, thank you so so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate that you guys have tuned in and watched the video up until this point right here. Uh, thank you again so so much guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!